my name is Haley. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a blackberry hoisin ginger pork tenderloin. So, um, let's see. I'm going to tell you the ingredients. It says two pork tenderloins. I don't know how many I have. I, I just got like a pack of, I'll show you. Anyway, salt, um, warm water. <laughs> I'm just reading off the damn recipe. Red wine vinegar. I'm not using red pepper flakes. I'm using just regular old pepper. Brown sugar, and I'm not using ice cubes. Vegetable oil. I'm using canola oil. Pepper, salt, and blackberry preserves, hoisin sauce, butter, garlic, what is that freshly grated? Ginger, red wine vinegar, salt and pepper. All right, so that's the ingredients and I'm gonna show you how to make this. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is get you a bowl it says to use a Ziploc bag, but I don't have one. I'm going to use a bowl. And it says, dissolve a quarter cup of salt in warm, warm water. So this is the quarter cup of salt. I'm going to just put it in here. And it calls for three cups of warm water. So I'm going to grab that. Yeah, I'm going to pour it in the three cups of warm water. Smoke? I'm not smoking in here. <laughs> I'm just burning some incense. So that's what that is. If you're wondering. Alright, it says two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. teaspoon. All right. A quarter teaspoon of pepper. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. One cup of ice cubes, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna have to do without. You know, if you have an ice maker that works, get you some ice cubes, but we're gonna try it without it today. This is called a brine, if you didn't know. B R I N E. Right, I'm just gonna mix this up. mixed it up. Now I'm going to get out the pork tenderloin. Alright, this is the pork tenderloin. <laughs> the pork tenderloin that I have. Looks like this. Um, it's two pounds. I think this is two pieces. Let me open it up and see. Yeah, this is two pieces. I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here. Good. It stinks. Gross. Ooh, looks like penis. To brine it for 20 minutes. Exactly 20 minutes. Or it won't work or something. It'll be too mealy. That's what the recipe says. I'm going to go by the recipe. Okay. I'm going to actually put this in the refrigerator. Because I don't have any ice cubes in here. Okay, now I'm going to get this mixture ready for the glaze. I'm getting this ready for the glaze. It says two cloves of garlic. So that's like two teaspoons, I think. Maybe a little bit more because 
smell like garlic. There's a little bit extra. Okay, two teaspoons of garlic. Ginger. Two teaspoons of ginger. to measure it out. A quarter, you're supposed to use a quarter cup of hoisin, hoisin sauce? I guess that's how you say it. A quarter cup, and I'm gonna put it in the new bowl. Mmm, smells good. Quarter cup. Two tablespoons of two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. A quarter teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of pepper. What? Okay, this is the seedless blackberry preserves that I got. It's sugar free. I mean, this is all that I could find. So we're gonna go with this and we're gonna do half a cup. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in here to measure it out. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, over here we have one tablespoon of butter, and I'm gonna melt that over like medium low heat, more like low heat. Oh shit, that's the wrong one. Yeah, like number two on your stove if you wanna uh, say it that way, but it's like low heat. And I'm gonna go ahead and melt that. It has to do it over medium heat, so I changed it from low to medium. Number four. <laughs> It's okay, still now the melted. butter's all melted, you're going to throw in the ginger and garlic that's divided out. And you're going to cook that for 30 seconds. seconds now I'm gonna add in the blackberry preserve mix the, this thing I'm just gonna mix it up I'm gonna turn it on it well the recipe doesn't say what to do now so, I don't know. I'm just going to stir it a minute. It's 
all melted, so I'm going to turn it on low heat and just let it sit for a little while. So it looks like this. It's kind of watery. And I'm just going to let it sit on low heat for a while and stir it every once in a while. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I'm about to take the, what do you call it? Pork tenderloin out of the um, refrigerator. And I'm going to put this on it. And this is one tablespoon of a canola oil, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of pepper. And yeah, I'm going to do that right now. Oh yeah, you have to like pat the tenderloin dry whenever you bring it out. I'm going to show you. Okay, now I'm just going to pat it dry with some paper towels. gonna rub both of them with this little mixture what is this the salt and pepper thing yeah I'm just gonna try to like evenly distribute this Once the pan is nice and hot, you're going to put, I'm going to do one tenderloin at a time. And you're just going to do it, um, get it nice and brown on each side. It's going to take about one to two minutes per side. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there right now. Okay, this is what they look like when they're all browned from the pan. Um, it was about two minutes per side. And now you're gonna brush with the blackberry hoisin ginger glaze. So I'm gonna do that. What do you call this? Like a spoon just to drizzle it on a little bit. probably shouldn't double dip this if I'm like, oh, it's whatever, dude. And you're going to put this in the oven at 425 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. And at 15 or at halfway through, you're going to brush it again with the sauce. So don't forget to do that. All right, this is what it looks like when it's all done. And what did I do? 15 minutes through cooking, I took it out and put the sauce over it again. And then I cooked it another 15 minutes, took it out and let it sit for 10 minutes. So it's all ready to be eaten. Eaten or whatever. It's all ready to be ate. So I'm gonna try it. It's eaten. 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 You didn't like it, did you? I did. I didn't think you did because you didn't act like you did. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stop watching me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you make this, I hope that you like it. It was very good. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.